Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in all new Ark Survival Ascendant. This video is going to be helpful so make sure to watch it till the end and with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the essential window settings and for that you have to open up settings on your PC and once you are here, go all the way down to gaming, go over to game bar and make sure to turn this thing off. Disabling game bar will help you to disable most of the services running to recording your desktop and running the Microsoft overlays which are consuming your windows resources and disabling it will help you to increase your FPS. Then go back to gaming, go down to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode allows you to disable apps running in the background and services running in the background to help you get better performance. It also disables unwanted notification popping up and interrupting your gameplay. After that, you have to go to graphic settings right beneath that. And now once you're here, go to default settings, click on change default graphic settings and enable both of these options. It will help you to utilize your graphic card and it will also help you to reduce your input latency. Then go back to graphics once again and over here you'll find list of all of the apps and games installed on your PC that utilizes your graphic card. Now what you have to do is go to the browse button and then go to the install location of your game. Once you find your folder, you have to go to shooter game, then binaries win64 and you'll find arcascendant.exe. Simply click on add and it will be added right over here. Simply go over to options, click on high performance and then click on save. Once that is done, close your settings. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable, and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin, as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multiple payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your Windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Step number two is de-animating your windows and this is super essential. Simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once this window opens up, click on adjust for best performance. Then over here, click on save taskbar thumbnail previews, then show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts. Then simply click on OK. Next step is setting up your virtual memory. And this is a super important step. So for that, you have to come now to the advanced settings. In processor scheduling, set adjust for best performance for programs and then for virtual memory, click on change. Deselect automatic manage paging file size and then in the custom size set this initial size to 1361 and then for the maximum size you have to open up your calculator and then you also have to open up your system information. Then have a look on your installed physical memory that is 32 GB for me. So simply multiply that number with 1024 and you'll get your memory in megabytes since the maximum size asks you to put the memory size in MB. Now you have to divide this whole value by 2 and the value that you get over here is the value that you have to set over here. Simply put the value as it is, click on set and then click on OK. And this is how you optimally set virtual memory. Next step is local group policy editor. And this is a step only available for Windows Pro users. So if you have a Windows 10 or Windows 11 home version, you have to skip this step. Now for all those guys who have a Windows Pro, you can simply search for local group policy editor. Once you click on this thing, you'll open up this window. Now what you have to do is go into administrative templates, then windows components and right over here you'll find app privacy. Simply locate let windows apps run in the background, double click on this and then let windows apps run in the background, simply click on enable. But you have to set default for all applications and set this thing to force deny. So each time it will run this state, this is only going to turn on the state 
and the state helps you to force deny this application. So it's not gonna help you run all of the applications in the background. Instead, it's gonna deny the applications which are consuming your process in the background. Simply click on OK and then click on Apply. Next step is disabling all of your unwanted startup applications and Windows unnecessary services. So for that, you have to press Control Shift and Escape all together. And then over here, you'll find startup applications. Then over here, you'll find all of the applications which are on your PC and you need to right click and disable the ones that you do not really use. This helps you to get down your BIOS booting time and it also helps you to run less processes since the boot of your PC and only helps you to run the important applications and in that way, you're also gonna save FPS because less number of processes and applications are running in the background. To disable any application, you have to simply select the ones that are enabled, click on the disable button right over here. But do not disable services like VG Tray if you play Valorant because it's very important to play the game. Next step is creating a restore point and for that you have to search for create a restore point on your PC and then over here select local disk C, click on create and name it arc just so you can remember it from. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential in saving your system's integrity. If you want to restore all of the settings back to normal without any data loss, you can always do that with a restore point. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Arc Ascendant FPS Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. Over here, you'll find six simple folders. First one is a CPU priority. You have to find the Intel and AMD CPU priority inside. Now, if you have an AMD CPU, you need to run the AMD CPU priority. You can simply double click to run this. If you have an Intel CPU, you can run the Intel CPU priority by double clicking this. Next folder is the RAM optimization and I have 32 GB. RAM but I have left a ton of presets for all of you guys so you can pick your RAM over here and if you don't like it you can always reset it back to default. Next is the most important folder that is the Arc Survival Ascended Priority. Now over here you'll find these three registries. First one is the highest priority and this is to be applied by low-end computers. Second is a normal priority which is the general priority so you can revert it if you don't like it. And third one is the above normal priority and this is for medium-end computers. To know which one to run, you can leave your computer specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose over here. Fourth folder is the unwanted services folder and you can simply double click and run these registry files. It helps you to disable your unwanted Bluetooth service core parking, downloading maps, extra unnecessary services, printer services, transparency services and Xbox services. And once again, if you want to revert them, you can always do that in this folder. Fifth folder is the important one which is the programs folder in which I have left a disabled memory compression. Memory compression is a process in your PC which consumes a lot of CPU usage so you can disable it as well. It's not very useful for gaming so you can simply right click and run this as administrator. All this command prompt does is it just runs a command that is for disabling your memory compression and in that way you're gonna fix it. Next is disable mitigation and it also does a similar kind of thing. It helps you to reduce your CPU usage. Third is the MSI Utility V3, right click on this as administrator. Once you're over here, select your graphic card, check on the MSI button and then from undefined, set this thing to high and click on apply. It helps you to set your GPU affinity to a higher level and it also helps you to increase your FPS in the games. Next is the Unpark CPU.exe, right click and run this as administrator again. Unpark CPU helps you to keep your core parking in control. Windows by default has a tendency to park unused cores and these cores are disabled and gives you less performance in gaming. So to fix it, you can slide this thing to all the way at 100% and then click on Unpark All and then click on Apply and it's gonna enable all of the cores on your PC now. So in this way, all of the cores on your PC will be running and you'll be getting an optimal performance. Once that is done, the last one is the console commands to boost FPS and you need to open up this command prompt. And now what you have to do is open up the game for the best in-game settings. Also, before launching the game, right click on your Arc Survival Ascendant, go over to the properties and then in the launch option, use a hyphen and then type in use all available cores. And once that, now you can open up your game. Okay, once you're in your game, press the escape key and then now go over to the settings for new. Then in the general settings, go to video and then make sure that you're always playing on a full screen mode. Then your maximum frame rate, you have to uncheck it and then you can literally cap this thing all the way to the maximum frame rate possible on your monitor. Then you have super resolution. I'd recommend you guys to set this thing to performance or ultra performance. That is gonna help you guys a ton. NVIDIA reflex low latency, make sure to turn this thing on. Now then go over to the graphics settings 
options and then for the graphic preset for the advanced graphics go with medium view distance go with medium post processing go with low general shadows go with low global illumination quality go with low effects quality go with low foliage quality go with low then you have motion blur i highly recommend you guys should turn this thing off and then you have a light bloom turn this thing on light shafts turn this thing on low light enhancements turn this thing on enable foliage and fluid interaction turn this thing off and the multiplier the foliage multiplier set this thing all the way to the lowest possible enable footstep particles turn this thing off enable footstep decals turn this thing off disable hlod turn this thing off GUI 3D widget quality 0.5x. Once that is done, go to the advanced settings over here and then the console access. You have to turn this thing on and then go back and then click on accept the new changes. Now press the squiggly line on your keyboard and it will open up the console right over here. Now you have to open up the notepad and then copy the first command and then go back to your game. Paste this command right in the console and press enter. It will disable the volumetric. Open up your notepad again. Copy the second line that is volumetric fog. Paste it in the console and press enter again. Now open up the notepad once again. And these are some optional commands that you can run. By disabling just two of these commands, you can get phenomenal FPS boost. But I would also suggest you guys that if you have a super low end computer, you can go with material quality one, virtual enable one, water single layer reflection zero. Then you have disable water command that is water single layer zero. Just by running some of these commands, you can be able to achieve good FPS possible on your PC. And just with that, you can play your game with the maximum FPS possible, with the least amount of FPS issues, frame lag, stuttering and so much more. I hope this video helps you out. If it does, make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button. It really helps me out growing the channel. Also, if you guys have not checked the channel membership yet, I highly recommend you guys to go check it out and be a channel membership because it really helps me out growing the channel as well. See you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.